Could you tell us what kind of revolution is the revolution you're talking about in Discovery Institute? Do you want to overthrow the old, old rules of science and what do you want to achieve? Oh, no, we love science. We're, we're, it's a revolution in thought, though. It's a revolution of perspective. We think that uh, the Darwinian view of the origins of new forms of life uh, is uh, uh, has held science back. It's not explaining the most important things that need to be explained, like the origin of the complexity we see in life and the origin of the information that's needed to build new forms of complex animals. There have been amazing discoveries in science in the last uh, uh, century, last 50 years, last 30 years. One of the most important discoveries in biology is that inside living cells there are little tiny miniature machines there are molecules that store information in a digital or alphabetic form, the DNA molecule, for example, and that this information is crucial to the function of life. And uh, what we know from experience is that information always arises from an intelligent source, whether we're looking at a computer program or a hieroglyphic inscription or a paragraph in a book, Information is the kind of thing that always comes from a mind, not from a material process. And we've seen in evolutionary biology that uh, various different theories have been offered to try to explain the origin of information, and they invariably fail because we don't know of materialistic processes that can generate information, and random mutational changes just degrade information, they get rid of it. So. Uh, we think that science has had the wrong overall approach when it's looking at these issues of origins, that it's tried to explain everything from the bottom up, from material processes, when it should be acknowledging that we're looking at phenomena that are best explained by intelligent design. What is needed to be one of the revolutionaries? Uh, good training in science or philosophy and a willingness to follow the evidence where it leads. What is the reason that should encourage scientists and students to join to this revolution? Well, uh, science is a wonderful discipline, a wonderful uh, way to study the natural world. So there are always wonderful discoveries and surprises that you find as you study the natural world. And when you're open to the idea that living things are designed, then uh, uh, that's, a, we think, a truer perspective. And it helps us to make discoveries. Because if you look at uh, 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 life as a design system, you're going to think like an engineer to try to figure out how it really works. And that will help you make discoveries more quickly. And uh, it also frees us from this kind of dehumanizing perspective that all we are is a collection of molecules in motion and that were uh, the materialistic view I think has had a very dehumanizing impact on our view of ourselves as human beings and so um, it's both scientifically uh, exciting and productive to, to see the evidence of intelligent design and I think it's also spiritually enriching. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.